My name is Dubi Dubab. I'm 25 years old. I believe in taking care of myself, in a balanced diet, in a rigorous exercise routine. In the morning, if my face is a little puffy, I cold shock myself in an ice room like a little soft boiled egg. In the spa, I get my outer skin scrubbed with a neon green sanding towel, so I go through metamorphosis to become smoother than your mom's cheeks after a facial. Then, I go through a 21-step skincare routine because I want to look 25 forever and want teenage boys to thirst over me on YouTube forever. There's an idea of doobie doobop, some kind of persona, but there's no real doobie, only an entity, something illusory, but I am simply in a Korean spa for 24 hours. Ah, you again. I'm so tired and I feel greasy and sweaty and hot. I've honestly been overworked and I'm gonna go on a strike! 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 I feel gross. I don't even know who I am anymore. What happened to this beautiful ASMR cooking Dubi Dubab two years ago? Who is this? Who am I even? I want to feel reborn again. Let's go to a Korean spa for 24 hours. So we just arrived at the uh, sauna. Yejin just told me I looked homeless. Um, hopefully in 24 hours, I look a little bit different. Bye. Hey there, mister. Whoa, I didn't know we were, we're going to club right now. So fancy. Literally looks like an entrance to a gay club. Okay, so we're here at Spa Rex in Dongdaemun. It's open 24-7, so um, that's why we chose it. it. Seems pretty big, actually. It seems very foreigner friendly, like there's Chinese and English everywhere, so yeah, let's go in. Yeah, and I just hit the bucks. Whoa. Espresso, but it's triple shy. I'll sweeten it. The fee for the entrance for 24 hours was 12,000 Korean won, which is around $10 USD. You get a set of these orange colored clothes, two towels. Seems pretty reasonable in my opinion. But yeah, we're gonna get changed, not look like this, and look like a minion, but tanned, I guess. First things first, you wanna take your shoes off, and then you wanna bring it to the shoe cabinet. A woman is on your right. Four, oh. Five is right here. Whoa, I do like this. <laughs> it's quite nice. This is Yejin if Yejin was a shoe. Okay, let's go get changed. Ah, oh, it's nice and super empty today. We're going to our designated locker right now, which is right here. We're gonna get changed and um, I'll see you again in the sauna room. so quiet here, but I want to do a fit check for you guys. Oh, 
I look like a sex offender right now, properly, with this especially. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. I don't know why, but that just drained all energy in me. I need to recharge. We're gonna just take a little break. Well, I guess we're here for 24 hours. This is a break. I think we're gonna order some cold coffee. Me and Yajin will share some and uh, we're just gonna find a nook, read some manga, chill, relax, and just be ourselves. After all, that's what Korean spas are for. Shall we? I really do feel so cool with these pants right now. Food court, my favorite court. I'm gonna steal some of yours too. hour one into Korean spa. I'm feeling a bit of anxiety as to what to do right now. I promised myself that I wouldn't look at my phone for 24 hours as well. So I feel very anxious about doing nothing. Maybe this is the plague that taints modern day working people. I'm anxious when I'm not productive. And it's so quiet other than the ambient sound of TV in the background almost feels like I'm in a rehab center right now because I feel so disconnected from reality. I don't have to do anything. That's so weird. I don't have a checklist. So another very quintessential Korean spa experience is called Yangmori and Yang means sheep and Mori means head. One, two. The important part is not getting greedy. I think my head's pretty big, so it's got a lot on its mind. Guys, I want to start a podcast. Would you listen to it? Anyways, and then you kind of create this thing. Put it on top, like so. Oh, it's, it's too big. It's too big. Okay, <laughs> my head's small. You got me. Okay, like that. Oh, nice. This is a good one. It's nice and tight, like your mom's ass. Oppa! There's somebody inside. Mama, feed me your breast milk, mama. Now we're gonna go into one of the hanjungma. It's kind of shaped like a little dome structure so that the heat retains really well. I mean, in a sense, it's a convection oven for humans and what they do is they heat the bottom floors and it's really really hot inside you can see the temperature here so that's 78 this is 80 maybe we should start with the baby ones actually What's really cool is you can kind of choose whichever room you want to go to depending on what temperature you want. There's, so there's 37, 38.5, 42. These are kind of like the baby levels. It's not too hot and it's not humid, it's dry heat. So it's really relaxing actually. Like I'm not sweaty at all. It's really quiet and you're not allowed to bring your phones in. It's really like a time to just meditate and be yourself or even take a nap if you want and uh, 
It's, it's really nice. I actually haven't been to a jimjibang, like a Korean spa, in like a really long time because, I don't know, my family's never big on it. And also during COVID, they were all closed down, which is kind of unfortunate because it is a really, really big part of our culture. Like our public bathhouses are kind of like the places where families come during weekends and just relax, prepare yourself before the work week. And that's nice. It's really nice. Okay. Now we've graduated from like the baby ones around 30 to mid 40 degrees and we're here at the really intense ones 72 degrees and 76 degrees my knowledge it goes all the way up to 80 yeah I'm gonna go in I used to not be able to do this as a kid and I would never go in when my dad would go in wish me luck Come in. Oh, this is heat that immediately your body reacts to. It feels better when you're sitting down because heat travels up. I think it's getting foggy now too. I want my boobies to be able to see me. Oh, but it's nice. Feels super cathartic. Almost instantaneously, like my pores are opening up and I'm like sweating through my face. In a way, I feel like all the impurities are coming out of my pores. I mean, it's impossible to breathe through my nose, so I'm just breathing through my mouth. You know what would be perfect after this? As a little igloo tent. Let's go in, let's go in. Are you, uh, should we go up? Oh yeah! I've watched your videos for a few years. Yeah? <laughs> well, nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm John. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Vancouver. Did you come here alone today? Yeah. Okay. And like, what was the reason behind it? Like, Honestly, like, it's been five years since I went to like a ginger bomb, uh -huh. just like COVID and stuff. Yeah. So I just wanted to go like before I go back to the States because mm -hmm. I feel like it's easier. There are like some in, in New York, but it's like definitely more pricey. Yeah, so. super. I think there's a really nice one in New Jersey. Like yeah, the one yeah, with yeah. the infinity the view, pool. Right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen that it looks one. so nice, but yeah. it's definitely not as nice, but it's still like super cozy <laughs> and it's nice, like right? Traditional like Korean. Yeah. What's your most favorite part about being in Jim Jibang? Honestly, I think just going in the hot rooms and like mm -hmm. taking a sweat mm -hmm. and then you like go here mm -hmm. and then like cool down. Oh. Wow, I feel like a well-cooked hard-boiled egg, you know, straight from hot water to like cold shocking it. I feel like my outer layer is just gonna peel beautifully. Let it go, let it go. Me, 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 me. I don't know any of the lyrics. Let it go, let it go. Hour two of Korean spa, I've acclimated completely. I cannot get off the floor. I've converted to Buddhism now. I want to be reborn as a slug. No shell, just slug. Slug life. <laughs> I don't know why. It's actually so comfortable. <laughs> I feel like all my defenses are down. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yeah. Let's go get some food. <laughs> I can't move. There's a Rick and Morty episode where they go to a spa to detox and Rick gets stuck in this toxin aider thing because he realizes he's the toxin. We're the toxin! We're what got removed! I realize I'm the toxin. Maybe I can never get out of here. I wouldn't object, honestly. This is nice. Anyways, I need some food. I, I got it in the bag. I didn't just randomly throw it. Get my sex offender bracelet and let's head on. Damn, $2 for a massager. Times have changed. Times have changed. Back when I was young, it was 50 cents. 100%, 50 cents. We'll be one. Really? Yeah. Don't make me feel old, don't make me feel old, don't make me feel old. Back to the food court, where I belong. 
사장님 라면 하나랑 계란이랑 미역국 주세요 감사합니다 Will you marry me? I've said this joke like a thousand times. It never gets old. <laughs> mm. If you've seen my convenience store video, I also had these. These are baked ass. Baked ass. <laughs> baked ass. <laughs> yeah, your mom's baked ass. Uh, these are baked eggs. So it has this really spongy and chewy texture, and it kind of like bounces back on you. Mm. You eat this mostly for like the texture. And I remember saying this kind of tastes like your mom's silicone implants. I still stand by that. Wow, sounds so nice. Oh, oh yeah. Samnida. Lunch time, lunch time, my favorite time. So I ordered seaweed soup and Yejin ordered a ramyeon, which I'm very, very envious of actually. I thought we were gonna share. Yeah, we're gonna share. <laughs> Holy shit, this looks good. Whoa. <laughs> I'm actually so surprised. Humba. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. So seafood soup in a lot of ways has a lot of meaning in Korea. It's kind of like the food that you eat to replenish yourself and to be healthier again. It's also the food that a lot of women eat while they're pregnant because seaweed has a lot of great nutrients. Like you have a lot of DHA, which is great for the brain's development when your child is growing inside you. And it's also very much like a homey food. Like it's not like food that you commonly find when you're eating out. Broth is made from beef bone broth, but you can make it with any protein. Like you can also do it with seafood, some clams, some chicken, some pork. Actually, maybe not pork. When I have kids, I wanna do like a postpartum care 24 hour series vlog as well. Santa Judy one vlog. Follow my surrogate. <laughs> you know what Yeah. It's a great way to replenish the sodium that you just lost through sweating out through your pores with more sodium. Ah, now that my stomach's full and my stomach is massaging the seaweed soup from earlier, I'm gonna get massaged. My money! 15? Whoa. You know when you go to the doctor and they check your blood pressure? That's what's happening to my entire body right now. <laughs> They're squeezing the life out of your calves. Oh yeah. Hopefully my Korean radish legs go away after this. They look more like Korean asparagus legs. There's no asparagus in Korea though. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. It's a vibrator for my entire body. Ooh, this is the wrong platform. Yeah, right there, right there. Ooh, yeah. Oh, you know me so well, baby. Oh, right there. You hit the right spot. Oh yeah, jackpot, baby girl, jackpot. This actually feels so good. I feel like this could potentially feel like, you know, what it's like to be in a womb. A lot of turbulence, but at the same time, familiar and warm. I'm a mere fetus. E.T. come from home. Honestly, I started at 13% when I first came here. 
but right now it's up to 54. 54? Yeah, food was 30%. <laughs> Mega boost. To the next location. Do I look like um like an old K drama, like K Royal, but like a man? <laughs> like a Korean samurai. Another quintessential experience when you come to a Korean spa is getting a massage. And the type of massage that I'll be getting is called a gyeongnak or like a sports massage, like the ones that hurt. It should be interesting. I've actually never gotten like one of these kinds of massages before, so I'm excited. I heard it's painful. We'll see. Whoa. Then I like the interior. What is it about? I'm a bit worried that I'm gonna get rashes after this oil. Because <laughs> I have quite sensitive skin. Or maybe it's gonna be better than ever. Regardless, I love me some human touch. Sweden, Swiss, Skekotago, Joyongago, and Zangtogibo, and Da 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 what an experience. What we're back where we started. Are you okay? That's very slippery. Yeah. I almost ate shit just now. You're not supposed to laugh when you have a mask on. Oh gosh. It was really nice. I mean, it's my first time getting a sports massage in a gym jiba. Not gonna lie, I think in the beginning I felt really uncomfortable with the fact that there was an older lady just massaging me and I felt a bit guilt tripped by it. But she also has a lot of pride in what she does and she was very happy to do it. It felt really nice, actually. Really, really sweet lady and uh, getting a chance to talk to her was also super nice. I really like this place because interior is kind of like an old traditional Korean home. It's really quaint and nice and it has that like old school Jim Jibang vibes. Yeah, like the facilities aren't like super nice, but still I think this is like what's more Korean than the new Jim Jibangs that they have in malls. So I'm really enjoying this experience actually. Time to peel off. Five minutes later. Oh, I'm so sweaty. I really feel like I've sweated all my toxins out. I feel refreshed. I feel like a, I don't know. I don't even know what I feel like, but I need to replenish some fluids with some shike. My pants are falling. <laughs> you know, I fart a little more. Don't you agree? Like, I feel like it's actually part of detoxing. Really? Yeah. That's great. I farted in the room. You didn't notice though. <laughs> Your face was like. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get some 
Shike now, which is a fermented rice brand drink. So we have the infamous Jimjilbang Korean Spa rice drink. This is like the drink you have to drink when you come here. It's like, I don't know, eating sundae sauce for Italians. Koreans, when they come to Korean Spa, you need to have shikhe. So shikhe is a fermented rice drink and it's made using the rice bran, making a malt syrup out of it, boiling it to get all the sweetness out, and then adding some fermented rice back in. The particles that are floating around, this is the rice bran drink. And it's not overly sweet, and it's kind of mellow, and it's just a perfect liquid agent to replenish some of the moisture that's left your body. And the slushy that's on top isn't ice, it's actually the frozen shike itself. So even when it melts, it doesn't dilute out the drink, it still maintains its natural sweetness. <sighs> so good, it's actually so good. This really is Korean people's Gatorade. I'm reading manga. It's called Mr. Sushi King. And um, it's about young boy Shoda making his way to becoming the next sushi master. And I've read this manga so many times as I was growing up. And it's like part of the reason why I've been so interested in food and the science behind it. Because it's like super informative and the techniques that they talk about is just so easily digestible. It's talking about how the shape of the rice has to be for the sushi but also a little perverted. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm really happy right now. I really feel like I'm in my own world, just relaxing and vacationing and reading nostalgic things that makes me happy. I feel like I'm getting sanded down. I mean, I literally am. I feel like I'm an eraser. So much eraser poop. It feels good though, actually. I feel like an outer layer of grime and filth and guilt is just getting taken off me. It's like the same pleasure as watching pimple popping videos on YouTube. Like I really like seeing that I'm at the end of the day just a filthy animal. Wow, it gets really intimate too. I'm spread wide open and I know this is TMI but it doesn't seem shameful at all. It's just, it hurts. I think there's too much pain to feel shame. Oh, that took my pile. I don't think she cares. I think she just cares about how much grime she gets off. I'm so nasty. Hopefully after this, I'll be re rebirthed like a little smooth baby butt. Yejin's getting to know me in many different ways today. After a certain point, the pain goes away and uh, there's a certain sense of peace that you start feeling. 
peace with yourself that you are just a clean baby, helpless on a cutting board. I really do feel like a little raw chicken right now. 시원해요, 근데 처음에는 많이 아팠는데 지금 많이 시원해요. 아 타월을 바꿔서 그래요? 아 전투 제가 좀 이렇게 지우개 똥처럼 이렇게 많이 나왔어요. 그래도 나름 깨끗하다고 생각했거든요, 제가. 전혀 아니네요. 어머 어머 어머. 어머 베이비. midnight and almost all my defense mechanisms have just broken down at this point post scrub review super honest 10 out of 10 would recommend it hurts like a uh, mother beep beep in the beginning and you start regretting it but after a certain point it just gets so nice my body feels so smooth and so soft and like i even feel like i got paler <laughs> outer layer of my grime was i think making my skin a bit darker like i went from foundation type 2 to type 1 right now there's something really therapeutic and cathartic about just doing one thing resting i feel like my soul is just like telling me oh, like it's okay to go to sleep and like i just got hit by like a gigantic wave of tiredness. <sighs> Let's go find a Nokia gin. I mean, it's kind of just like sleeping in a capsule hotel, I guess, but with much harder floors. The smell of the wood is really nice. Welcome to my crib. MTV. In my head, when I think about somebody sleeping in a jimjibang, it usually like connotes somebody who didn't make the last bus to go back home. Like this is the place they come. Like almost like a hostel in a sense. Really cheap. It's around $15 to stay for the night instead of having to pay like $50 for a cab. So you get some good night's rest. You go back home in the morning with the first bus. Not gonna lie, I had some bias towards it. I thought it was gonna be unhygienic, really loud, and like maybe even potentially filled with creepy dudes. But actually, everyone keeps to themselves. It's quiet, it's really clean and comforting and very relaxing for any travelers looking to get new experiences or traveling on a budget, I would 100% recommend to stay a night in a jimjibang to experience what it's like. This is gonna be really nice. Anyways, I'm gonna read a little bit and go to sleep and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Or maybe I'm gonna use the books as a pillow. <sighs> wow. Good night. Four hours later, my hair is smoother, my skin is soft like a little peach. I'm feeling good, I feel really confident about myself as well. I think this rest day was very, very much needed. And spending 24 hours just relaxing, focusing on pampering myself, and reading up on books that I haven't read in a while, I feel really good. Definitely the best $16 I've ever spent in my life. Thanks for watching. And that is the end of 24 hours in Korean spa. Let me know what you guys think and where I should cover next.
And until then, Annyeong Louise. Cut it,